Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to create a really cute Father's Day card idea using my Big Shot and my Stripes embossing folder. You want to start off with a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is cut four by five and a quarter. This is going to be a layer on the front of my card and I've decided that my card is going to be basic black. So the first thing you want to do though is before you emboss this Whisper White cardstock using your stripes embossing folder is to create an interesting detail for the front of the card. So bring in your paper cutter, open it up, and put it at the one inch mark down here. So it's like I'm going to cut through at one inch, but I'm going to only cut in three quarters of an inch from the top, and then I'm gonna open it up, slide the cutter down, and come in three quarters of an inch from the bottom. So I've essentially created two slits, three quarters of an inch in from either side using my paper cutter. And then what I'm going to do is bring in my Big Shot and my folder. I've got it on tab one, bottom standard cutting pad. And what you want to do is insert your cardstock so that the stripes are going to emboss vertically on the piece. Now I've got my two slits here, and if you look at the folder, you can see that there's sort of a beginning line where the stripes will be embossed. So you want to make sure that the slits line up right to where the embossing starts. And you also want to make sure that it's the stripes are going to run evenly in a straight line not a crooked line. Okay, so I've got that in the folder. I'm gonna put the top standard cutting pad on and then I'm gonna run it through my Big Shot. There we go. So hopefully you can see the stripes on the card. Now, at this point, I am going to fold in on my slits to create a collar effect for the front of my card. Now, I could adhere them down, but I think what I'm going to do is bring in my paper piercing tool and my mat, and then I have some mini silver brads, and I thought it would be kind of fun to put a brad on each side of the collar to hold the collar down. Put the brad in. go like so so we've got this cute little card with a collar and then the last thing that I want to do is add another decorative detail and I have my half inch circle punch and a piece of scrap basic black cardstock so I'm going to punch three it's good to do things in uneven numbers Use my snail adhesive, and essentially I'm going to be creating three buttons down the front of my shirt. It's nice because you can line them up according to the stripes so that you know your buttons will be even and placed appropriately. And there we go. So there's the layer for the front of my card. 
I've got my basic black cardstock that I've cut eight and a half by five and a half and scored at the four and a quarter mark. You can score using your scoring tool, your Simply Scored, or your paper cutter also has a scoring blade on it. And then I'm just going to flip my shirt over and adhere it to my card base to complete my card. Move it over a little bit. It's hard when it's on a black background to see. There we go. And that completes my Father's Day card. Now, um, I don't have a father anymore. He passed away a few years ago. But if you wanted to add a phrase, I would recommend Teeny Tiny Wishes because it has a Happy Father's Day stamped or image that you can stamp and punch out. You could add it to the front of the card or you could put a whisper white layer inside the front of the card and stamp um, the Happy Father's Day image there. The other th idea that you could use this for would be retirement or some kind of formal New Year's Eve party or perhaps a wedding card. Um, there's lots of different ideas. And you can use designer series paper instead of the black and white and make something that's a little less formal looking and so on. But I hope that you got a fun idea today with my Sundays with Sizzix project. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for the layer, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, don't forget to check out my clubs and classes. I've got lots of other sample ideas. You can use my online store link to place an order for the supplies to make this card, or use the Contact Me button to ask me a question. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.